Hey guys and welcome. Linux Mint 21.2 Cinnamon. Today I'm going to talk about a Terminal. This is for users uh, that are learning Linux and learning Terminal. I'm going to use one fun command and many derivatives of that command called CAL. CAL stands for calendar. I'll show you how to uh, guess somebody's uh, day of the week uh, from their birthday. That way you can tell them what day of the week they were born on. I will uh, be looking at uh, a calendar of um, the 12 months in terminal by a simple command and also a derivative of two, three, four, or six months or whatever you want. Look at dates in the future, look at dates in the past. Having fun with calendar, Cal. Welcome folks, filming in 1920 by 1080. You can adjust your YouTube player accordingly if necessary. You are watching this on Linux for seniors. You should see a logo in the corner. If you have already subscribed, uh, welcome and thank you. Um, 260 plus videos running currently. Um, I've made over 700 in the last uh, decade, videos wise. But uh, more importantly, my current channel has currently 260 plus videos. So again, welcome folks. So we can certainly click this simple calendar and change the month and the year here. Today I'm going to talk about the calendar inside a terminal that you can do lots of things with. Now, if you don't have terminal sitting on your panel bar or even in your favorites, may I advocate that you just type T and either drag that icon here or here or both and start using terminal for your benefit because there's a lot of things you can do with it. So the first thing I want to do is I'll click zoom in a couple of times just to make things bigger. How do you read this line? Well, Bob is the name of my user for today. It's just a made up name. And the name of this computer is tmint21, another made up name. The dollar sign is just a prompt and it's waiting for me to put a command in there. Toward the end of the video, I'm going to show you uh, where you can find the file of all your commands that you punched in, whether they're good or bad, and you can print them and edit them if you like. So today's command is cal. Simple command, um, but more importantly, a very powerful one too. You can also type it in this way. This is a little bit more tedious, but it'll accept the command none the same. So cal space 11 space 23, or just type in cal. If you want 12 months worth, then it's cal space dash small y. 12 months worth of calendar stuff. What if I decided to use uh, cal space dash uppercase y that's a failure it's an invalid option so pay attention to the stuff that you're typing and the spacing uppercase and lowercase do matter all right i'm going to punch up clear and to uh, clear the screen so if you're just learning terminal again terminal can be your friend also and you can start slowly all right so cal dash three Gives me three months of stuff. November is in the center. Today's date is November 17th, so that would be Friday. You can, uh, if you decide to use uh, Cal 4, you will get an error. It's an invalid option. However, to get around that to display four months is Cal. Uh, let me just punch up clear first. So Cal space dash either a or b i'm gonna do the a first and uh, so it's cal space dash big a space four will give me four months for moving forward going forward so that's november and then four more months if i wanted to go the other way i will go clear and type in cal space dash b as in boy four that would be November moving backwards, four months. So back to July of 2023. If you wanted to change that to say six months, then you just change the last number. So that would be a Cal space dash B6, and that will give you six months worth of data, starting with November and then six more months. So whenever you're using the dash B or dash A, it's the current month plus. So I'm using the upper arrow key to repeat these commands. So this will be the dash A 
And uh, I don't know if you can see this down here where I'm circling. So this is cal space dash A, and I'll put a six in there. So that's now six months of data. Using the current month, November, then a forward six months, one, two, three, four, five, six months, sorry, not four, six months. So that number represents how many months minus the current month. So it's current month plus six is what I'm, how you read that. I'm gonna punch up clear. Let's take a guess at somebody's birthday. If you got a friend born in January, put a one and put a year. So let's put uh, 1967. Do you have a friend born January of 1967 and that friend of yours was born on the 29th? He or she was born on a Sunday. You can have all kinds of fun with your friends and family. Use the upper arrow key. All you got to do is, if you want to use it in that format, you can certainly do that. This is the same calendar. All I did was substitute uh, the one with uh, JAN on it. So let's look at dates in the future. Let's say I pick on May of 2026. So three years from now, I put in can't. That's a um, bad command, right? Okay, I'm going to use the upper arrow key. I want to scroll over just to teach you how to do this. Put an L in there and hit the delete key and then hit enter. And that's a valid command now. So I put in uh, Cal May 2026 and you can see that uh, in the future if I was looking for a specific date and I wanted to know the specific day in the future, let's say it was the 15th of May 2026, that's a Friday. Okay, another example of this would be past. I've shown this many times over the years. Is uh, Cal 7, 1776. In other words, Independence Day. In the United States, July 4th fell in what day of the week? You can find this on the internet, but I can do it faster. That was a Thursday. A Thursday, Thursday, July 4th, 1776. So again, you can put in any days you want. So punching in Cal dash three will work for three months. Cal dash four will not work. If I wanted four months, then I would probably use, I'm gonna punch up clear because it's too busy. Is Cal either an A or a B, depending on which direction you wanna go. So if I do A, it will be forward. And then I can put in a four here or a five or even a six and that'll give me six months worth of data. Starting in November, plus six. One, two, three, four, five, six. To make it more simple, why don't we just do Cal and small y. 12 months, January through December. What happens when you use the upper arrow key? I'm sorry, the uh, uppercase y, you get a failure. It's an invalid option. It doesn't understand the big Y. It understands the little Y though. So your terminal box records these also. I'll show you that in a second. So again, you can use the, um, let me punch up clear, and you can put in history. Of all your commands, you use punch down. So I got 28 of them. And I started with zero, by the way. So I erased the buffer before I started this video. Started with the, the cal command. And then I showed you another derivative, which was cal 1123. The cal-y is a valid command, but the cal-uppercase-y is an invalid command. In other words, bad. It records them nonetheless. Clear is clear, just clears the screen. Okay. And then I had the different derivatives. Uh, cal4 was not a valid command, but cal3 was. But to fix that, I went with a cal-a4, and that works just fine. I used the cal-b4, also works fine, or even a cal-b6 or cal-a6. Four months of data, six months of data. Somebody's birthday, cal-january 1967, same command below it. Okay, in other words, uh, that one there. 
and then I did a future date. I first misspelled it and then I corrected it down there below on 18. Okay, so lots of different ways to looking at this thing. So let me type in MAN and CAL. Now what does that do? Manual pages is what that stands for, MAN, and that's going to be your friend of looking up commands. It has lots of libraries in there that you can look up commands for. And there's your CAL command, also known as NCAL in some systems. And here's some of the derivatives of them. If you get into trouble, you can always use the X in the corner, but you can see down here you press H for help or Q to quit. If you do Q to quit, it goes to a prompt, just like that. The dollar prompt is waiting for you to do something. I can type in more commands or I can actually type in exit also. Where is this file located of all those commands? All right, so Bob is our user for today. I will enlarge that slightly for you and hit Control H. Control H shows hidden stuff. The hidden stuff that I'm looking for is the uh, dot or period born again shell history, bash history, bash underscore history. There's where those commands are. I can also print those. I have printers online. Well, I got two unplugged, but I got one that's running. But more importantly, you can also edit this. This records good commands and bad commands. So I'll make this bigger. That's a bad command. That's a bad command. And I, I know that because I've been working with this for a while. And you will know that after a while too. So I could technically delete that and delete that and then print my history buffers. Out of all the ones that are bad. This one's also bad. So how do I get around the four? Well, I use a command like this one or like that one if I want four months of data or six months. So here's some examples of birthdays. Cal January 1967. Another way of looking at it is Cal 1 1967. The one and Jan are the same. Keep in mind spacing is important also. All right, so this is bash history. So I could theoretically also delete as much as information as I want out of here by highlighting that. I can also use uh, Control and A to highlight everything and hit delete. And then when I close this, it'll ask me, do I want to save or not? I'm going to say yes. And then I'm going to turn off my hidden by Control H. And I'm going to use Alt and F4 to close that and reopen up terminal and type in history. And you will see that it, the buffer is clear. There's no more history. The only command that's in there is the one I just punched in. So if I type in exit right now, it will exit this, but it'll also record that at the same time. I'll show you that by opening this file back up. So basically that word exit got recorded. Alt F4, Alt F4. Thank you for watching.